were oh, off, God. Dude, we're cutting off DJ's face. Okay, well, we like, raise it up. Yeah, we need Please. to hire Move these and thank you. My, face, my right face is kind of the most important face here. Okay, well. <laughs> I'm not wrong. I'm not, not wrong. wrong. I don't like I that don't you're like wrong. That you're right. I don't like <laughs> that you're right. Me. Okay, well. Next a lot. Time. Why? Sorry, we're still getting set up. Cause Cause I, I don't. Like I don't like. <laughs> I don't your like. Antivirus protection expired. Oh, you're gonna get Corona on your. Just, <laughs> just so Corona. Look, and then just I go shit. look up porn fails. <laughs> we're good. Hey, hey, that was one time. <laughs> one time. That was one time. Oh, I'm pretty sure there's one safe sites you can do no. it on. He didn't have the safe <laughs> site. That's true. That's true. What's the <laughs> safe site? Report up. Report up. Yeah, he's got a report up. No, that's fair. I'll give you that. I'll, Man, I'll this that. is yeah, this is going down. No, Xvideos dot net is not the video you go. The site you go to. Dot All net. right. Hello. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> oh, my sides hurt. Welcome to the martial arts talk show. What's everybody. good, boys? Uh, Welcome back. Oh man, it's the modern ninja. Welcome to the modern ninja. We are insane here and that's what we're going to continue to be because we're it's just going to go down here we're drinking it's yeah. going to be fun it's, yep. it's going to be fun gonna so be this great. is episode four four of yeah. martial yeah. talks martial where talks. we drink and talk about random martial arts stuff and the drinking random new. stuff yeah. Drinking's a little yeah. new. drinking is new well yeah for on video it is <laughs> yes okay um so What's our first question? What's our well, first question? Wait, no, no, no. wait, what's the game? What's the game? Oh, oh, we have to do introductions. Now, this one. This one. Oh, oh, yeah, we do have to, we do, have to do introductions. Name? My name's oh, DJ Moore, aka The nice. Modern Ninja. Um, <laughs> God, he so, said like that. <laughs> I did. I did. He said it like that in front uh, of And girlfriend. obviously, she's seen my videos. She watches my streams. Oh, it's, God. it's, oh, we're already okay. in. So, uh, if you guys don't know, definitely check out my Instagram and TikTok, and you're already on my YouTube, so uh, you're already here. Subscribe if you're not subscribed, but to my right we have uh, Wyatt Mitch uh, Follow me at on Instagram Wyatt underscore Mitch M-I-T-S-C-H He's you gonna, don't have to spell it. Type it. You, you spelled it last time too. <laughs> and the time before that, you spelled it out loud every time. You yeah, what it has a graphic name of it. Oh yeah, they you forgot too. about that part. And the I, link is in the description. <laughs> I have a link. Really yes, yeah. you have a link to you your Instagram. Link. It's in the every single one, every single time. Even they like the I haven't gotten a single so follower from that one. So <laughs> like, oh my <laughs> god! If I don't get another one after this, we're, we're gonna put it on the whole screen. I'm gonna edit the next one, and it's gonna be the only thing on the screen for the entire <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Just annoyed because now I know I have a link and none of y'all click it. Please click the link. You can make a difference. All we, all we need is one. Just one. all we need is one. And I'll be happy. Please, Bob. Okay, hold on. For the live stream, so we can actually get results, you need you actually need to spell it now. Yeah. Spell it. Y W Y A T T underscore. It's like a hyphen but lower. All right. <laughs> Wyatt, you moved, your, you moved under- yourself out of frame. Last name. Last name. Last name. Mitch. M I T S C H. He did it. Good job. I'm so proud. Good job. And to my left, we have Joel Messenger. You no, know, no special no. introduction. I'm Joel, Joel Messenger. I, I, uh, yeah, I scream science <laughs> and physics at the stupid. Sh- Stuff don't come up with. It. <laughs> Good job. I caught it. I caught it. Did. Yeah. You did. Good job. Yeah, I'm Joel Messenger. Uh, I'm the only one on this panel with a college degree, and it shows. Yeah. <laughs> he, that's why he's having much fun. That's what CC. Yeah, that's why, that's why yeah, he's so no, stuck I, up. Yeah. Uh huh. Yep. Hey, All right. What What are we playing today? Are we playing okay. Again? This oh, is yeah. uh, this is a direct result of what's been of the w- words that have been said in the past few episodes. Oh, um, no. oh. When you curse, you have to. Um, Basically, you know, you know what we did for the word of the day last time, where you had to hold the horse stance. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that that for ten seconds. Okay. Ten okay. Seconds. okay. So every time, every time. Second. Second. Every time. This is gonna hurt him. This <laughs> is gonna really hurt him, bro. Yeah. I'm just gonna no. I'll go into it, teacher it, mode. I can say I can say teacher mode. We'll it, won't, it won't hurt me see. this bad here, but <laughs> we're gonna get down a little lower and be a little harder. All right. Yeah. First actual question, though, we're bringing it back all the way to episode one. Um. Whoa. Mr. P. Butler. 
400 mm-hmm. from Discord wants to know, in episode one of Marshall Talk, you guys said that boxing wasn't self-defense because it didn't have knife defense. Can you go into more detail about that? That's not yes. that's exactly what I that's said. Not, that's not why, but that's not the only reason why. just that part. Yeah, yeah, why <clears> okay, so, um, in, in my opinion, self-defense needs to require, needs to teach you how to defend yourself in multiple situations. So, in that video yeah. we were talking about specifically boxing and why boxing isn't <clears> self-defense by itself, that's because boxing doesn't teach you things like groundwork, doesn't teach you things like weapon defense, mm-hmm. fighting against multiple yeah. opponents, it doesn't go into any legal issues, it doesn't do anything that you need yeah. to know when learning self-defense. Yeah. And so it and not to say to it's still not yeah, not to say it's still not a martial art because it's it's so narrow. No, There's some insanely can, narrow so. martial arts. But we're saying it's we're you know, headline it's is nice. that it's not a martial art because it's definitely catchier and, and triggers a lot of you in the comments. And it definitely worked because we just came back to it three episodes later. <laughs> it definitely worked. Yeah. yeah. But like yeah, I think it's, the it's, biggest it's, thing. and it's good in addition to other things. Oh yeah. yeah. I think the biggest thing was uh, I think I probably said this uh, the first episode too um, but it teaches you to fight, and in a fight, you have consent from the other person that we're both going to fight. Yeah. Uh, self-defense, uh, one of the uh, major things that make up a self-defense is the fact that uh, the other person isn't going to ask to fight you beforehand. Yeah, yeah it's not going to be set up. You're not going to necessarily know what's going to happen. There's no ref. Like, it doesn't... <laughs> yeah. There's no one to stop it. You can go to the ground. <laughs> Big yeah. one right there. There are no rules. Yeah, that, that's... Well, the other thing, too, is boxing is also set around fighting somebody in your weight class. Yeah, that's another yes, that's another That's a, yeah, really yeah, that's a really common really thread thing. you see in a lot of what's traditionally considered martial arts is that it's for... <laughs> God bless. God bless. Is that it's uh, it designed for smaller people to fight uh, larger people. And, you know, not all of them are, and even some of them aren't really good at that. Like, Japanese martial arts are very big in the chest, mm-hmm. squared up kind of thing, where it's like, you need to be bigger than your opponent, but still, boxing is designed as a game where you train specifically to fight somebody within your weight class within a set of rules. I would, I don't know, I would slant and call it a martial art because it does have a set of techniques that are practiced, that are re- yeah. repeated, that are passed down from person to person, and like, like it's got all the trappings of a martial art. It's just a very yeah. specialized I, and narrow one. Personally, I call it a martial art. I just don't yeah. call it a self-defense mm-hmm. martial yeah. art. So no. tell, if someone tells me, oh, I want to learn self-defense, I'm not mm-hmm. going to send them to boxing. I'll send to, you know... Kickboxing. Kickboxing. Which is just like yeah. MMA schools, which yeah. is boxing with other things. Like, yeah. uh, it's boxing and ground fighting. And, yeah, it's like... There's lots of things with boxing you can do that is self-defense, but boxing by itself is just not... Right. Not self-defense. Okay, anyway. We've talked about that one a lot. Mm-hmm. Next one. Trust me, I've talked about that multiple times. Well, you use it as well, you thing. use it to trigger I people. I used it and then you're twice. like, and then like oh, twice. I gotta talk that about video, boxing. That dude. video came out a year and a half ago, I and I still and get comments on it, being like, you don't know, you don't know what it is. And apparently, try getting into a fight. A good enough answer because you keep getting the question. People keep asking, so the answer wasn't good enough the first time. Yeah, I, I, think they're just, I think they're just mad. I think they're mad because bad. I know. They would hate me because I told you. Gigi, easy baby, easy peasy. Get good, good scrub. Oh god. <laughs> um, Ethan Nichols from TikTok wants to know, um, how was your first Tong Sudo experience? Ooh, I think the, how was it? The, no, no, we had, that was no. Nope, sorry, I read the time. wrong one. I read the wrong one. Okay. Uh, like, we 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 that sorry. One. What is the best but, martial art to start off with? It was a oh, got it. Oh, that's a good that's one. To start off with. Okay. That's from Slugger One Three Four. That one's that one's a difficult question. Oh, I would definitely you. think you want to do something with some Mudo. You want to get. The martial art experience before you start tacking on the sports. If you start tacking on like sport martial arts, like like okay, boxing, about or get, get, get the okay. get yeah. the curriculum. You get definitely want to start with something. Yeah, that's not gonna be. Yeah, it's, <clears throat> it's not gonna be a workout where you hit stuff, but it, it's got discipline of like mind and body and I'm gonna say spirit. I'm gonna hate myself, but <laughs> spirit a little bit. All right, a little bit. Stop it. And anyway, Mine's so strong. you get, you get you stop strong. it. I've never done it. I never will. Yes, you have. So not no. out loud. Okay, there we okay, go. Okay, so but move like yeah. You want to start with something that's definitely got a mudo hard line. Okay, mudo in Korean. I don't know what it is in Japanese. It's like it's military spirit. Spe- yeah, but you want to get something. It's the yeah, di- you want to get something basically. Yeah, that keeps you in discipline because that mental discipline <clears throat> that you're going to develop is definitely going to be the most important for learning anything else that you want to. I mean anything like like the discipline I learned 
and Tong and uh, Tong Sudo helped me get through classes in college. Like it helps you get through anything. It's a useful, useful tool, and it's definitely more useful than any other specific fighting style you're gonna learn. I would also go as far as to say doing a more straightforward hard <laughs> fighting style as opposed to like a, a more fluid. Kung Fu or Tai Chi no, style, because that stuff is what good. And what do you mean by hot? So like, like karate, Shotokan yeah. karate, uh, um, not Tung Chi Do. It's stuff. not okay. the flowy yeah, stuff because yeah, yeah. that's Honestly. harder to understand for beginners. In my experience, obviously, some people are just gonna be naturally gifted at it, which good on you. Yeah, if that is you. But for the majority of people, I would say a hard style is gonna be easier yeah. to just get into and break the ice if you're just, especially if you're an adult getting right. into you're it. If you're older, like if you're 15 and up trying to get into martial arts for the first time doing a soft fluid style is going to be challenging yeah and not to sound cliche or anything but i think and like feel free to disagree with me but i think karate is a good place to start yeah I'm especially being around. american oh, I, and being I, I, being I, I, frontal and, and chest and like when so how we I work think, out and what we prioritize traditional i would karate, think yeah that's what i'm saying but i disagree i'm saying karate simply, though simply i disagree simply because at this point in america i think karate is like watered down Hmm. A lot. Yeah, I that's think, true. I'm I not factoring in schools. I think if you find if you're looking like finding a, a good hard karate school is but then, challenging. Wouldn't that? But then, then wouldn't that? Uh, but that applies to that, all that, martial that arts. Really. Just, yeah, but except if, for Krav. But no, wouldn't but, that change what yeah. martial arts would be best to start like, with? Oh, just just simply based on Sim- your location and what schools are around you. Yeah, yeah. So it all be no, find something with whatever's around you. Yeah, find something with kanji on the door and an average age higher than eight. Yeah. Uh, unless yeah. you are eight, in which case don't do that. Yeah, then yeah. In which case, stop. <clears throat> go make some friends. <laughs> and then, but like, yeah, there's, there, I think there's just more non-pay-to-win schools that aren't karate. Yeah, in America. A lot of karate schools, in my experience. I want, yeah, I don't want to say find something obscure, but you know, just just find somebody who takes. I'll it. say it. Find, find something it. obscure. Find something <laughs> that. Well, <laughs> like, no well, like, hold on, hold on. You, you can <laughs> get it so weird. Like, there's Look, a there's a cook su wan. Kung Sudo is, ex- is obscure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's no, it's not. It's the third. Yes. It's the third most practiced martial art in the country. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Really? Yes, taekwondo. Yes, no way. Yes, yeah, it's number three. Find what taekwondo. Taekwondo, taekwondo karate, Tang Sudo. Kung Fu's not above that. Really? Because there's That's so many surprising. different dialects that count, you know, like mm. there's there's Wu Shu and Tong Shu, and there's so many other different. Well, things. then hey, That's fair. Ty- look, uh, it may not be the most mudo, and I know it's fair. It's there are sporty, mudo but, in schools but, in but, Taekwondo. But, but, yes, but Taekwondo mm-hmm. is extremely it is for the most part uh, pretty widespread and pretty consistent in their schools. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. You, if you if you train in one school with taekwondo, you can always you can change. Pretty much, and, that's pretty much catch one pretty flawlessly. Yeah, that's true. It's it's, it's kind of hard <coughs> to find Tung Sudo clubs for like places you want to move and stuff. Mm-hmm. That, it's, and it's I, universal. And I think, I think ever any martial move, like art. I think any martial art that teaches you to to one use your legs because uh, yeah. look punching. Legs it's not that hard to learn. Yeah. Learning to kick good. Is a lot harder. And learning less, to learning to kick right is way less, harder that, than learning to punch right. And we're only talking about stand up. If you want to learn, if you want to get into oh, the yeah. groundwork, and then if you want to get into groundwork, Maga, jiu-jitsu, jiu-jitsu, I think jiu-jitsu, I think judo. wrestling. Really? really? I like, think wrestling. Like Greco Roman, like, like, like Greco Roman, like, like college okay. level wrestling, like American wrestling. No, 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 no. Greco Roman. Okay, Greco Roman. Or, or, Amer- or no, even American wrestling. I think if you if you're in school and you want and you want to learn true, the grapple stuff, it yeah, one, that, that's okay, easily yeah. available. It's, if yeah, you want to get you can into sign something, up for your wrestling class. you can be in your wrestling wrestling yeah. team. It's right there. Or team. Yep. I don't okay. And you can learn to throw people. That's true. Most what's one of the things we we learned through our martial art is. A lot of fights throwing, go to the ground. Yeah, throwing and breaking. Yeah. Right, and the whole point of wrestling is to be the person who lands on top. That's true. Yeah, the whole point is to be in control. Yeah, the like, entire time yeah, you're like, in control. I like, I like, like judo you're not going to learn that. tap outs, but yeah, exactly. I like no, judo but you're in control. That, but judo is not available in every high school in the country. Mm-hmm. It's, it's not available <laughs> in most. I would say. Yeah. Well, you, you're you're hard. I think <clears throat> I'd say you're hard pressed to find karate in schools like karate clubs. Oh, I've never heard no. of it. I have I've never. I've gone to I've gone to a school in there was a karate club in Bentonville. Oh really? Yeah, so you can like get a job back like a before the, or back before it split, but yeah, it'll be like a coach or something. That'd be it's fun. not there anymore. Oh okay. It was back there when it was before when it, it was split. That'd school. be weird. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, I think we're good. Next question. Um, what is a t- okay Leo nine um, triple nine triple four from TikTok wants to know what is your what is a usual martial arts class look like. What is like? Oh, so okay, like, what are your, like yes. Oh okay. Traditional I class. Uh, I mean, they usually about hour, hour and a half long. 
Yeah. Right, so I'll put... They're going to be longer. They're going to be longer than your attention span. A lot of classes are shaved down to 45 minutes. But for us, <clears throat> least for me, the majority, yeah, the majority of classes I've taken have been an hour long. You mm-hmm. do about five minutes of stretching. You do about 10 minutes of basic technique repetition. And then whatever the different sets. You never... Doing. Yeah, I never do all of the basic techniques I know. We do, like, different sets where it's like, okay, we're going to do... Uh, snap kicks, or we're going to do thrust kicks, or we're focusing on hand techniques, whatever. We do a set of basic techniques, then we do hyung for the largest portion for 15 to 20 minutes at that point. Explain yeah. what hyung is. Then do forms. We do like kata. Demonstrations. Ka- demonstrations. Yeah, kata, demonstrations. Uh, kata, yeah whatever. And then uh, towards the end, we do self defenses because our Tong Sudo is not pure. Pure Tong Sudo does not have. Any sort of like, um, wrist, like locks, wrist yeah, there's no, no joint locks, no, joint no locks, ground no sidings, nothing. No, yes, one, one step. steps are. Yeah, we have a set of classical one steps. Are. Yeah, we have a set of classical mm-hmm. one step defenses. Then we have basics, we have young, and then we spar. So a traditional Tong Sudo no, class. Always and there's both step. There is both step. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, both that step. not but only only if you're in a subset of Master Scott schools, though. That's true. Because in the Federation, there's still no both step. That's true. There's no weapons. But anyway, so yeah, and then, so we do um, self-defense, and sometimes that can incorporate weapons training, or knife defense, or Joe defense, or gun defense, depending on how high up we are, and then we fight at the end of the class. Fight Always at the end, end of the fight, class. and with cardio, and with a big yep. bang. Always at the and, and that's the thing, you have to fight, because you're not going to be ready to actually react to people punching at you, it's going to catch you off guard. If you don't practice, no matter what martial art you choose, right. if you don't practice fighting at some point... It's, you're not going to be prepared right. for any form mm-hmm. of defending yourself, any form of sport fighting, anything like that. You just got to right. get in the habit sport of fighting in general. not that being and, you, and it's, and it's not flinching uh, when it, people throw punches at you. Like, everything is theory until you put it to the test. Yeah, it, it's all a theory of how to block and yeah. how to punch and yeah. how to time something until yeah. you actually fight. Look, and that just might like, look super cool, but unless right. you test it out, it doesn't matter. One thing is that that's just a class too. Once you get to Don, once we got to Don. Learning in class didn't happen. You have to learn at a yeah. camp. Like how I you learn that's, that's and in how most you, places. Yeah, how you learn, how you give them forms changes dramatically. A class basically becomes a workout of just flexing mentally what you remember how to do as well as, you know, physically. You, you're, you're flexing, you're doing things. But, mm-hmm. like, a lot of class is just kind of a workout. Whereas once we get to Don, how you learn, or Black Belt, okay, how you learn is dramatically changed like you go to a weekend you spend a whole day and you're given a form and our mark our organization does a lot of things well and a lot of things not well but one of the things that they do well is they understand and imply the gravity that you are learning something that is anywhere between 70 and a thousand years old and you you learn the the form of it you learn where it's from you learn what it's emulating you learn everything about that form as well as the form itself mm-hmm. and that's really what martial arts is once you get past all the punching and kicking is it's carrying on a tradition of just things that people have done for the past thousand years or so yeah. that's 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 what it comes down to the basics yeah like, and that's what that's there's the use there's uses for it but when you when you get past when you get past you know a certain rank you're not right. you're no longer learning it to try to defend yourself okay. you kind of have an idea you're going about into what our next question is so just real quick cool. oh okay y'all like jazz from tiktok um you like jazz <laughs> i love that nice. you like, yeah. like jazz what um what is the i need an arc our martial art okay so there's a lot of history to our martial art and we actually have a keeper of the keys or whatever okay we have a guy in our martial art his job is to keep the history okay so our martial art is super super young in the field of everything. Our martial art was founded in 1945, okay, by a guy named, uh, by a uh, guy named H.C. Huang, okay? So, anyway, what happened was, H.C. Huang was born in 1910. His father was an astronomer, giant nerd, okay? Named him Starboy. We're gonna insert a little clip here. We play Starboy, okay? Okay? Yeah, Yeah, there it is, it's passed. Okay, all right, so. (laughs) So. Anyway, okay, so this guy is born in 1910, which is after the Japanese occupation of Korea, okay? Japan has occupied Korea because they decided that everything they could touch was theirs, and there wasn't really anybody to say otherwise in the region. So Japan stepped in and occupied Korea. He was born in Korean occupation. He grew up, and when J- when um, Japan occupied somewhere, they tried to, they weren't like the Romans where you could keep your language and your culture. They took 
as much as they could. So they didn't allow you to practice traditional martial arts that weren't Japanese. They didn't allow you to speak Japanese in public or in shots, or sorry, anything other than Japanese in public or shots. They controlled you and they tried to make you as much like the Japanese as possible. Japan is Asian Britain. The parallels are shocking, honestly. Uh, but so you get to the Wait point out. where- Colonize. Yeah. So <laughs> you've got to the point where he's born, okay? And so he is just a kid in town one day and the story goes that he told is that he saw this guy go into a bar and have some disagreements with some guys and he fought six men in the feet in the street and he defeated all of them and so this kid follows a guy home and he goes hey can you teach me this martial art well the martial art was taibo which is from korea it's not a traditional japanese martial art so practicing it using it or teaching this kid it is a crime against your colonizers, which most of the time just gets you lined up against a wall, given a blindfold and a cigarette, and shot in the face. So he's just like, no, I'm not going to teach you. All right. So anyway, this kid, okay, H.C. Huang goes, you know what? No, I, I, I would like to learn. And so he follows this guy home after school every day, and he would climb up over his wall and watch him practice in the backyard. So as he grew up, he started to, you know, practice and look at this guy practicing Tai Bo. Now, as he got to an age around 18 where he could work, he got a job in a train station, which was a super easy job. And in the train station was a library. In that library, he found a book about karate, traditional Japanese karate. So he read that book and he, he learned all that he could. He starts putting the same together. At this point in the train station, he part, starts putting together his own forms. And they're, they became our forms, the Chilsung, which is seven star, goes back to his name that his dad gave him. Everything's connected because, again, this kid's dad was a super nerd. So he became a super nerd. All right, and all of this is connected. It's going to seem like plot written, okay, but just because they're all a bunch of super nerdy guys. It is plot. It is actually oh, yeah, It's plot connected on, on, on purpose, okay? These are super nerdy guys. So... After this, okay, he, he's working at the train station, he's learned a lot, and he gets a chance to flee. And he flees to Korea to go to northern China. Because he has God and anime on his side. No, just God. Just... Anime is trying to colonize him. <laughs> he just had God. Anyway, he escapes, gets to northern China, your eyes and while he's there, we don't know fine. for sure really what happened. He doesn't talk about the time where he was in Manchuria for a long time, but... He doesn't talk about that a whole lot, but he rides out the rest of the war in northern China. And when he comes back to Seoul after, in 1945, after the war ends, okay, when he comes back to Seoul, he has an entire martial art put together. He calls it Hasudo. Now, again, this guy's a super nerd, so this martial art is too hard for the general public, okay? So we have, like, a side block. He has... Every technique down was like, your arm needs to be at 135 degrees. Your knee needs to be bent here. Your feet need to be this ratio of your height apart. Everything is down to angles and measurements for your body. It is insanely difficult. Nobody likes it. And his school kind of goes under. So then he takes a step back. He makes it to where it's no longer based on proportions or whatever. And you don't have to do math. That was a big thing. And he opens up a school hey, called Tang Sudo. Tang Sudo means way of the open hand. It means the same thing as karate. It's just Korean. Okay. So when we refer to our martial arts karate, it's because karate is just how you say Tang Sudo in Japanese. It is, yeah. So he forms this martial okay. art. He starts uh, making some friends with it. And he one of, some of the friends that he made are on an Air Force base in uh, Camp Humphreys in Korea. <clears throat> so on this Air Force base... He, you know, he opens up a school. He starts teaching people. And two of the people he teaches on the Air Force Base are buddies, Chuck Norris, all right, and Joe Weeks. Chuck Norris came back to America and opened up his studio in California. Joe Weeks was a barber from Magnolia, Arkansas. Joe Weeks returned to Arkansas, he, and he decided that one day he would teach. So he starts teaching firefighters, policemen, and a 16-year-old named Rick Bailey, who is all of our instructors. So he teaches him, and that's kind of how our martial art got here. Over time, uh, our martial art has split from the Federation, and we've started adding in more things to make our martial art practical. We've changed some things. We've added in joint locks, self-defense. We added in a bunch of weapon defenses Not to kind of make it important. more of like a martial, uh, more of like a more self well-rounded self-defense martial art. But that's that's kind of it. Our martial art is super super short. I mean, we can go from the founder and in three steps. You know, you got the founder. 
Then you have one of his students. Then you have our teacher. We're four we're steps four, away. Four steps away from, from that. Man. Yeah, we're four steps away from the founder from the of our boss. martial art. We're super blessed to have that. And it's, it's really cool because we don't have to, like, look at parchment scrolls to figure out who found out our martial mm-hmm. art. We can look at pictures of him. We have books with pictures of our founder performing each and every technique. So right. we have arguments about, oh, this movie this way. This we can just this be way. Like, like, oh, check the tapes. Check the like, tapes. Honestly, check the books. It's not even like a scroll. We it's have like, ancient like, texts. Yeah, it's, it's, a, hard ancient. Back, yeah, it's <laughs> a hardback book. Ancient texts from like World War II era. era. Yeah, it's like super eight <laughs> films. This picture. There's color. There's color <laughs> photos of our founder doing it. There are color work. photos. It's honestly, it's super cool. It's, it's kind of cool. nice actually. It makes it, I love it, it makes it easier and it makes you feel better in my opinion. It makes you feel better learning it because you're like, okay, I'm I'm for I'm like only the fourth generation down. Like yeah. That's speaking of your master, um, Kakashi Hatake from TikTok says, "Is there some sort of discipline strategy your master used on you?" Beating. <laughs> Holy crap! The, I mean, I got hit. Look, did you get hit? No, 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 hold on. Hold on. Oh, look, Let me I'm not I would like to. I would like. Hold on. I would like to state. Crazy. Oh. Oh, crazy. Yeah, crazy. I would like to state that all of us signed a waiver. Well, sorry, our parents signed a waiver. <laughs> Before that is not the right direction. Yeah, it is. Hold on, because all no. of this was legal. Uh, no, no, hold on. Tell me your case. No, 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 it was all legal. No, 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 tell me I'm when you know. Tell wrong. me I'm when you acted up aggressive. and you and you, <laughs> and you got <laughs> and you shot, got a little too big for your britches. Your instructor did though. All right, you're sparring me today. I had my nose ripped off my face because of that reason. Like I'm not saying you're wrong. The hell out of you. There was. I remember one time. I said it because I didn't think it counts. Get in the stands, no. bro. Ten, I said it ten ten seconds, seconds, because I didn't ten think ten it would count. Ten, ten, ten seconds. seconds. No, you two oh. Okay, you two are a bunch of pussies. So, <laughs> and twice. twice. <laughs> <laughs> they don't, they don't you two? Yes, they, yes, they do. do. I want to see. I want to see. I want you to know. Jamie, I want you to bring me up to TOS right now. They don't count. They are secretive about this. Yeah, they don't show this. Get, get, it's get, like get in there. Stuff. 20 seconds, bro. So, uh, anyway. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, our, yeah, so, so yeah, our, our discipline was we are children, okay? And when they're children, okay, when you're children. Two people that hate. Yeah. <laughs> they treat you an awful lot like dogs, okay? I've had parents come in. Accurate. I had a parent, okay? And this parent, he trains German Shepherds for the police. So, one day he comes in and he goes, listen. This is not a criticism. It's just something I find funny. And I was like, okay. He goes, you train these children exactly like I how I train dogs at work. And I was like, <laughs> that sounds like an insult, Terry. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm, I'm really glad, glad, glad you practiced that. Can, can I stop you for a second? Yeah. I like. I'll say it. My te- uh, while our instructors may beat us, we do not beat children. We were good instructors. We used foam swords was, for that. We used yeah. foam swords. Okay, we did not beat children. I want to state that now. This is the uh, So, but no. Anyway, I found myself afterwards. Uh, I go up to. to I was counting. I don't know. I was how trying to get his attention. I was. I was about to tell you yeah. you're good. But he's like seven or something. I was like, hey, Jake, come here. Oh wait, hold up. <laughs> It was awful, but no. Everybody sit down. Wait. But it's just like on. we, you basically how we train disciplines. So, you start uh, them as children. Dead Moose says, as a student, of Mr. Moore, ask him about his motivation shovel. Oh. Yeah. I do. Technique of yours. Okay. It wasn't. Oh, it sounds like a, a specific technique. It was okay. So I, I, I had, had a lot of I know how the battle like beans. a lot of motivation tactics. And so, I don't know if this is the one, but I, we had like, we had like a stick. Yeah. And so I used to, we would hold stances and I would go across and like just swing at people's heads just yeah. to make sure they stayed down. Oh, and nice. then nice. Um, I would, I would like go and tap the back of their legs. Yeah. And there was one where I would, I would call it stance cowing. Right. Okay. So we'd be we'd be in line doing horrible names for things. I know. I don't care. These are uh, awful. Look, I, this channel was called Edge before. Like I don't. <laughs> yeah, we're not going into that. <laughs> anyway, um, so we would hold stances, and I would just keep a count out of how many stances. And at the end of all the basics, I'd be like, "All right, so I counted forty bad front stances. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start at forty and go backwards." With whatever, not actually forty. It'd normally be like ten or twelve like or something like that. And we'd go back. We'd be, yeah, like, <laughs> we'd be like, all right. It's it's been up to twenty before though, and it took a while. I know. And we did 40. twenty push-ups, twenty sit-ups, 
thirty or uh, 1918, yeah. 1818, and just work our way down the ladder. Yeah, yeah. yeah. everyone's yeah. different, but I mean, universally, oh. I think discipline across the yeah. board is 100%. any to be fair, any infraction out of line, you do push punishment. It. Yeah, you talk yeah, out of line, DJ Shanks is death based. Yeah, stay not bad. Oh, it was so much fun. It was so much fun. Push ups, sit ups, you know. I, I didn't really, do a lot of running. I didn't ever really do a lot of running. No. I just had to do. I had to mix them up children. sometimes. Running so like, for children. If yeah. if if yeah. we were if we were if we were running out of time, I would swap running for like sit ups. Yeah, I'd do push ups or squats because then it's like I would tell them I was like, listen, you can be smart and listen to me, or you can have a broad back. <laughs> Those are your or choices. Or you can be small. And hey, listen, there were some kids. They didn't. They, they weren't like, swole. oh, I'm gonna be small, but. They chose to be small. Okay, some of those. Some there are those, kids. There are kids right now that can lift my weight. Oh yeah, because yeah, of what yeah. I there, are, there are some of my kids that were like, you know, they would be doing push-ups or something, and then my pa- like their parents would come in and they'd be like, hey, so like, uh, our, when our, our kids like screwed up at home, like you know, they would like not do laundry or something, and we would punish them by having them do push-ups. But push-ups are too easy for them. Like it takes too much time to punish them doing push-ups. And I was like. So, so, so what do you, I was like, so what do you want me to do about this? To like, tell me something different that I can make them do. There, there are couple, there are couple well, parents. There is, no matter how much you do it, wall six will work. Yeah. Yeah. Time. Well, but it came up with time. And I was like, yeah. there, there are a couple parents yeah. that I've had that pull me out like after classes yeah. are done and be like, hey, um, and ask me if it's okay that I like punish their children for them, which is weird. It's really weird, and it's not it's healthy. Not, but never makes me comfortable. But. It's healthy for the kid. It's what the waiver's for. It is what the waiver's for. But, well, you know, the kid doesn't understand that. No, but, so like, they, it, they tell me, they're like, they're, they're, tell, Mr. they're tell Mr. Moore what grade you're getting. Tell Mr. Oh. Moore, tell Mr. Moore what... Oh. Like, no joke, no, no joke. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Grades? No, like, Yo, oh. like, tell, no, 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 tell no, no, Mr. Moore, tell Mr. Moore that what you didn't listen. And then be like, all right, at what point, oh, no, at what point do you say, this is your mom, you are the parent. The mom... I don't, because that's oh what I'm getting paid God, for, so what? shut up. That's what I'm getting paid right, for. I never had to deal with grades. Oh, my God. I'm paid oh, yeah. to be their parent for an hour, oh, and I'm not even I've supposed to, to be their favorite grades. parent. Oh, my God. I've had... Okay. I'm not even supposed to be their favorite parent. <laughs> I mean, okay. I've Honestly. had, like, when the kid gets in a fight at school. Yeah, okay. Like, I've, uh, had I've, had, I've, had, I've, had, I've never had the kid start the fight, though. So they come in, mm. and the parent's like, hey... So Trenton got in a fight at school, and I was like, okay, uh-huh. what happened? And then Trenton's like, well, this kid was pushing my friend, and I felt really bad, <coughs> and he pushed him onto the ground, so I punched him. And I'm like, well, high five, man. Nice. <laughs> Good job. Let's go. That's your boy. You Look, don't your boy. start Don't start none, but you finished yeah, no, Exactly. I was, like, I was like, yeah, that's your boy, and he hurt him. It was a teacher you or protect, anything? You protect no. you and yours. Well, there you, you go. You protect that's you That's what yours. you're here for, champ. Like, come on. And like the parents are like, is he going to get in trouble just for getting in a fight? I'm like, no, I'm not. That's no. U.S. school system. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. The U.S. Like, school look, system. That's what I teach them to do. Yeah, yeah. it's like that. <laughs> what, what do you think I'm doing here? It's, it's, it's funny. Like, it's funny because my dad, when I, so I was homeschooled until ninth grade. For yeah. those of you that don't know, my dad, whenever me and my brother went to, oh, you're right though. <laughs> <laughs> um, my dad told me and my brother went, or told me whenever me and my brother went to school that if anyone messes with my brother, to like, quote break whatever arm they touch them with, and I'll deal with the repercussions. Yes. And I was like, ah! And so I just waited. I waited for the opportunity. For those of you who don't know, we're in the South. <laughs> like, if, if, if your student or your kid ever gets in a fight, you ask them two questions. First question did you, is, did you win the fight? Did, did you, you win? win? Yeah, did you win? Yeah. The second question is, did yeah. you start it? Did yeah. you win? Did you get... Good job. Did you yeah, start yeah. it? Good job. Good That's, job. If they hesitate, they won. Yeah. <laughs> The answer should be yes and no yeah. in that order. But I, I was I was pretty blessed because I never I never had a kid who took it too far, which with my kids and how I train them, that's Surprising. what I was worried about. I was worried about Surprising. some kid swinging and then my kid just skull thumping this little guy until he quit. I had a kid start a fight. Oh, yeah. Mm. Okay. I, yeah, I never had that. Out. I'm so happy I never had that. No, it's that's good because it yeah. it sucks. That's got to be rough. It sucks because it's like, dude, I tell you every... Every day you come in here, not to start fights. Yeah. Every single day, and you look what you did. Like mm. anyway, next question. You go for it. We're, we're, we're gonna in thirty minutes. Okay. Yeah, let's do another. Oh, let's do another. Keep going. Right. Keep, keep so, coming. Probably it's halfway the beer talking. <laughs> I I'm editing, so let, let's do it again. Probable probable last one. Um, 
this is a broad question, but you can narrow it. Winchester 37 would say, is martial arts difficult? Oh, that yes. depends. Very broad. That yes. depends what, well, on where you yes. go. Yes, 100%, but it's not difficult for the reasons you might think. Well, yeah, it's yeah. physically okay, challenging. Yeah, yeah. It's a little but mentally. The well, hardest... Part is mental, like yeah, sticking. Yeah. The, the hardest part the isn't isn't, yeah. isn't even. Uh, mm -hmm. I'd say the hardest part isn't even uh, like well, yeah. being intelligent enough to take in information right. and work on information. It's the willpower to keep going well, when you don't want to show up to class anymore. When it's hard. When yeah. it starts to get difficult and you don't really want to anymore. Well, that's that's what I'm saying. Is like with anything oh, else, it, curve. It, di it differs, right? Because I I, I feel bad, but. The kids that come to my class that are smart, that are intelligent, will never struggle as much as the the dumb ones. And that's, that's why, no, no, no. And honestly, true. the dumb, I, the as, dumb as kids the have to work who harder. Is, who teaches everybody? Yeah, they the, have the, to come The dumb in. ones have to work harder. And like so, uh, and that's the other thing too. Is like, look, the kids that are strong around their own body weight. That's parents make them do push-ups when they mess up the laundry. That, whose parents don't just feed them McDonald's. The kids that are in shape are gonna have an easier time. Than the ones that aren't. So I like, and there's a natural, there's a natural skill to it too. You can yeah, be so naturally yeah, yeah. good at martial arts. You can be naturally good, naturally good at different aspects of martial arts. Mm. But there's, you can also be naturally terrible at it. Yeah, and you'll have to work harder. So yeah, <laughs> I like, I, I hate this answer, but it really does depend. Like my brother, my brother and I both did martial arts. My brother started martial arts when I was six. I started when I was five. My brother, okay is not good at martial arts as a starting, okay? He cannot just pick anything up. He has to work, I would say, twice as hard as me at everything, at learning new young, okay? At developing new set, because he's also taller than me. He also weighs more than me because he's, he's more muscular, okay? He's moving more mass in ways that are more difficult in something that he is not naturally as skilled at. He will always struggle more with martial arts than I will, and I wouldn't say it's easy for me, but it's easier than it is for him. Martial yeah, martial just... arts in general is a bell curve. You'll have a lot of people getting into it because mm -hmm. everyone sees movies and wants to do fighting everyone stuff. Everyone wants to be Bruce Lee. You have Bruce that Lee. high where it gets really hard in the middle and you're learning it's a lot. It gets difficult. Green belt. And yeah, yeah, people quit. Red belt. People yeah. quit. People quit. And then you get your black belt. People quit. Yep. And then once you pass that, if you stick in it into it for longer yeah. than your first degree black belt, mm. you're in it for life. Yeah. So like for us, okay, we have a one percent in our martial art. One percent of the people that sign up make it to Don. We have a one percent <clears throat> retention rate to Don. From Don to Edon, one to two, we have a fifty percent retention rate. Okay. From Edon to Samdon. It drops to 25, but that's also where most people graduate high school and leave. And again, like we talked about earlier, our martial arts are relatively obscure. So, so that's you can't, not really you can't train it yeah. everywhere. Now, from Samdan, for the people who make Samdan, master. 90% of them make it to master, to fourth, mm -hmm. to Sadan. Okay, 90% of them. And once the people get Sadan, I mean, they get buried in that uniform. Like, yeah, honestly, yeah. yeah. No, honestly. I mean, yeah. <clears throat> since, since I've been in martial arts, since I've been in martial arts, there have been, been two masters that have died. And both of them were literally buried in their dough. Like, it's just, at a certain point, it's not that it's easier, it's that you've established, like, this is, and it, because I've you, seen as hard as you it get gets. You get to a point where it's taken so much time and you put so much energy into it that you don't want to just quit and make all of that mute. Right. Like, you oh, like nothing, I've been yeah. training martial arts for 18 years. Yeah, you gave that I up. cannot <laughs> quit and make the 18, last 18 years of my life mute. I can't yeah. do that. I, I can't, so yeah. I will be doing martial arts till I die, and yeah. so will both of these people. Like, we gonna make just, it work one way or another. <laughs> exactly. It just you, you, you get to a point where you're like, okay, this is so, this is what I do. Yeah. So as far as it, it being hard, I would say there is. It also depends when you get into it. Like, that's true. Like, it also depends. When that's also true because the hardest <laughs> part is staying once it gets hard. Okay. Yeah. The first time it gets hard is green belt. The second time is red belt. Okay. For me, first time it got hard was green belt. Uh, for me, seven years old. I do not remember being a green belt. I have two memories of classes being green belt. And one of them was because the class was on a Saturday. It was three hours long and it was with a different instructor. Everything about that was significant. Okay. The second time you get to hard one, okay, is a red belt. For me, I was 10. I was 10 years old as a red belt. Okay. I was in fifth grade. I learned that my mitochondria was the powerhouse of the cell for the first time and then tested for my dog. 
So I was in stages where 100% my parents, my parents were in charge yeah. of, of that. So it's like, uh, like I don't remember ever wanting to quit. But my brother, I talked about earlier, he wanted to quit all the time. My so, parents were like, no, you're staying in this. This is good for you. And so all everything about martial arts and continuing in martial arts that was hard was deferred on to a, a second party. Yeah. So yeah, which we didn't. If you have that. if you have parents that won't let you quit something that you started, your your goal is your father. Yeah, you're good. Like, you're gonna you get over the hump. Yeah. But as an adult that can choose you. to be done, it's if right. you don't have the willpower to continue, you're not gonna make it. Yeah. Like, like I don't. If, if you're don't weak know. willed, you're not gonna make it. Like if just, I was if I was instead of ten, if I was sixteen. When I hit red belt with double blue tips, if I was 16 years old when I come in came into class and I had Master Ron to go, okay, uh, you're up for Don in six in uh, six, six months, months, so you're just gonna do boss side the whole class, five minutes of stretching and the same 57 move Every form week for, for 55 months. minutes, okay? Every week. I don't know if I would stay. I don't know if I would feel like I was getting my money's worth. I was, and I know that now. But with that decision, right. I don't know if I would have stayed as a 16 year old. 100. And, and like I don't, so I. It's, it's it, it, it requires it requires a lot of willpower. Yeah. Like it's yeah. it's starting as an adult, which anyone can do, and I suggest trying it out. But just know, it's it's a challenge. Your bell, like your bell curve is a little steeper than everyone else's. It's totally. <laughs> you, don't, you don't have any adults watching. I, I, you'd be surprised. Um, the adults watching are in this room. You'd be surprised. <laughs> I have a majority adult following right now. No. Yes. Well, what? Majority well, well, yeah. Because well, you no. fill out your age when you make your account. Uh, 1899. No, no, no. 21 to 24. What? Majority. How many 200 year olds do you have following you? I have a couple. Yeah, okay. I have a couple. <laughs> I have a couple. Brings up the anyway, level. regardless, that is the last one for today. Yeah. Before we, I let you guys go, I just wanted to let you guys know uh, merch. Get it? It's in the description. But thank you guys for stopping by. Definitely check out the previous bye, bye. episodes of Marshall Talks. If you haven't checked out this one, or if you haven't, if you've only checked out this one, I don't Go know check why I can't talk. Else. But check out the other things. Check out the off. rest. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you don't miss when I post. And also, please, please oh, yeah. follow me. Give me one. Just one of you. That's please all I need. But until next time, my name is DJ Moore. This is the Modern Ninja, and I'm out.